Well, we have to talk about Devin White. I've made a couple of Does Devin White Suck videos in the past. I've never been a huge Devin White fan as a player. I, I've always liked him a lot as a personality. I'm a Tampa Bay fan, so I like him from that perspective. But he has some issues, and those issues really got exposed uh, as he faced a ton of criticism against the Ravens. And let's be honest, that criticism was deserved. He was not very good in this game. So let's just dive into the film and talk about what went wrong. Uh... Again, you know, a uh, big fan of Devin White as the guy, but uh, as a player, he made some mistakes, and some of them were just smaller mistakes that I'm not going to kill him too much for, but something like this where you have a cornerback blitz on the outside, and you see where Devin White is on the field. So this is what we know. There's going to be a blitzer that's, you know, they're surprising the Ravens, so he is lined up on a receiver, but he's going to be blitzing which means that if Lamar Jackson reads this and the receiver reads this, the receiver can just run a hot route, kind of turn around and stand and wait for the ball. If Lamar reads it, he can hit him, and the closest player that can get in coverage and try to knock the ball away would be Devin White. If Baltimore executes this perfectly, it's going to be a completion in a decent game no matter what. However, you see Devin White, he really takes his time in getting over there. I mean, he kind of takes a step over there, but really, he almost plays this out as though there isn't a blitz whatsoever, which makes you wonder... Well, what's the plan here? I mean, if the, are you just hoping Lamar just doesn't see this? Is that the logic here? Because as you see, Lamar does make this throw, and they're easily able to pick up that gain, and they didn't even execute it that perfectly. I mean, if it's a perfectly executed play against the coverage you're running, okay, fine. But you're making just a little bit too easy on him. You know the ways to beat the coverage that you're in. I would have liked to see Devin White get over there a little bit quicker. I would have. But going over here, that criticism pales in comparison to some of the other criticisms I have of his game. Something like this, where, so that's the guy he's going to be, end up covering. It's going to be zone coverage, but that's the tight end, Isaiah Likely, that he will cover. And right off the bat, I have to say, Devin White does a pretty good job here. I mean, he covers up that pretty well. Lamar could make a throw to lead at Likely, and it could be a completion. But, you know, as a whole, I have no real complaints here. But here's where the complaints start. So Lamar Jackson, doing Lamar Jackson things, is going to try to get outside the pocket. That's what Lamar does. Lamar is great at that. Sure. Fine. Devin White, who is in coverage here, there's no one else around likely. He is the one guy covering likely. For some reason, he's going to run in to try to uh, create a pressure on Lamar Jackson, which allows likely to be wide open. He's able to pick up a first down there. I mean, that's just, that's just not a smart play. That's just not what you should do. That's him trying to make a splash play instead of just doing your job as a defensive player. And these are the things that get really frustrating. I imagine defensive coordinators go crazy over this stuff because... Your job on that play is not to pressure Lamar Jackson. Listen, sometimes you need all hands on deck to pressure Lamar Jackson, but Lamar Jackson was pretty well contained there. I mean, the Buccaneers were doing a good job. I believe that was Shaq Barrett on the edge. He was doing a good job. Like, Lamar was not going to run for too many yards on that play. What is more important is making sure that your guy is covered, and he didn't do that. Of course, there was this play, which was not great. <laughs> I mean, listen... Uh, this will happen to a linebacker from time to time. Tyler Linderbaum is a very good center. Uh, he, you know, uh, rookie center, but he was, you know, very hyped up prospect. He's going to double team Vita Vea and then get up to the next level to block Devin White. Watch how when Linderbaum, you know, gets to the second level to block White. Okay, so this is the situation. He's engaged relatively well, so okay, fine. But I mean, watch him push Devin White, uh, I don't know, 15, 20 yards further back. And the only reason it stopped was because Devin White tripped over his own teammates. So again, uh, not going so great for Devin White. He's just losing. That's just the reality of the situation. In the running game, his run defense, he's just, he's losing consistently. His coverage has actually been, has slowly gotten better as his, as his career has gone on, but his run defense has gotten way worse. So very bizarre there. To be clear, I'm not saying his coverage is good, just that it's, it has gotten a little bit better. Moving on to this play now, this is another just kind of, you got to get there quicker, Devin, type of play of just kind of a, you know, being a little bit slow on the draw here with Devin White. So first, I'm just, you know, you see where he is, and I'm also highlighting a, uh, it's a fullback slash tight end for the, uh, for the Baltimore Ravens here. That's Patrick Ricard, who is lined up as a tight end. He's, you know, his position is officially fullback. Good player. Uh, anyways, you know, video's not about him, but what you're going to see is you're going to see him go in motion. Look, so he goes in motion from the right side of the screen to the left side of the screen. So what does that mean from Devin White's perspective? Well, Devin White, currently where he's at, you see all the way towards the bottom of the screen, there's two eligible receivers in Baltimore's air in, in that area. There's now going to be a third all the way over to Baltimore's left. Not to mention the halfback who's lined up to Lamar's left. 
the reality is you have to be prepared for a quick throw to the left in this situation. You only have two corners over there. One of them is in press. One of them is playing further deep. So you have to be prepared for a quick pass in that direction. But watch White really bite on this play action. It takes him way too long to, at this point, he's just too far over. I mean, again, you, he really should have probably already been cheating over in that direction already. And these are kind of the things that you just wish he was a little bit quicker on the draw at. Because look, Lamar makes that throw and White is very fast. But guess what? He completely he took bad angle also and missed it. So those are the things where he just he's not helping himself sometimes. It's You just wish that he would be a little bit quicker at reading these plays sometimes is probably the, a fair thing to bring up. I want to be clear. If this was all he was doing, is I wouldn't criticize him too much. Because again, this does happen. This is kind of just being a linebacker at the NFL level. Sometimes you get out of position like that's teams basically will make create entire game plans to try and get you out of position I get it but it's more so a consistency thing it's how often it's happening not just that it is happening also let's go over here now so now we're going to see a it's going to be a halfback who's actually going to go out to block Lamar Jackson or excuse me to block Lamar Jackson to block Devin White as Lamar Jackson will then hand the ball off to a receiver that's the way this play works and I'm just going to let it play watch what happens to Devin White here Look, a halfback is going to go up and not just block Devin White, but block him so hard he runs into uh, safety and he knocks both of them down. I mean, that's just inexcusable. That's just inexcusable. A halfback should not be able to take out two defenders. Like, that's just not what should happen. The halfbacks are typically the worst blockers on the team that are still going out and regularly blocking. So because of the fact that you're going out and uh, doing that, I mean, uh, you know, it's just it's a tough situation and it's part of why the Ravens were able to have so much success on the ground in the second half so does Devin White suck well I mean again I, I, that feels harsh I don't want to sit here and say that he sucks there still are nice things that he can do in his game there legitimately are he is someone who can still make splash plays but man this stuff is just it's it's an issue I mean he just he's not a great linebacker and the fact that there's a good chance he could get paid a lot of money this offseason simply because listen this is what happens. It feels silly. It feels like teams should be smarter than this. But the reality is when someone gets drafted fifth overall, they're very likely to get a big second contract, largely just due to when they were drafted. Uh, you know, when you were drafted does equate to getting paid money. It does equate to getting leeway. It equates to getting Pro Bowls and things like that. It shouldn't be the case, but it is. Now, again, I'm not sitting here and saying Devin White, uh, we sh he should be off the team or anything like that. There still is value, but like, to the people wondering, is Devin White a good player? Like, no, he really isn't. He just He's just not a great player. Like, that's just not what he is. And he really has never been a great player. He's been a guy who has made splash plays, and he was good in the postseason run. You can't take that away from him. He was legitimately good in that postseason run. He had a great Super Bowl, made a lot of splash plays, and didn't make a ton of mistakes. But he definitely has been kind of living off of the high of those four games, actually three games. He didn't even play in the Washington game. So of those three games, but you know, again, at the end of the day, if that's all he does is plays really good in a Super Bowl winning run, uh, not, not the worst way to spend a first round pick, I guess would be fair to say. But yeah, that's what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.